Pisces, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Pisces, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Pisces, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So, Pisces. All right, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, spiritual energies. If this is your reading, Pisces, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, eight of wands in reverse. You guys are not talking. No talking happening here. Why is that? I think somebody's feeling the lack of hope now. They're angry. They're upset. I think they feel uh, too many bad memories have been created or this connection is going backwards. I think they do want to come forward. They do want to fo come forward. They want this happiness back. They want to make things right. The other person, I don't know. They... I think they have also, I don't know, maybe they're taking off for a new beginning or they want a new beginning. I don't know whether they want a revival or they want it on their own because person, the other person has been waiting. They have been waiting but they feel the other person is not opening up, we're not talking. So there's a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety uh, on the other person's end as well and they feel my person is still playing mind games. It's always going to be their way or the highway. Uh, they, you know, they're still not opening up. So, let's see. Let's let's ask the universe first. What's really going on, spirit? Of course, I'm going to clarify all these cards for you uh, later, Pisces. But first, I'm going to ask the universe. What's the underlying reason for both of you to be feeling this way? Tell me, spirit. What's the reason that Pisces and their person is feeling this way? All right, here we go. The first card here says, red flags. Play, pay attention to the warning signs. Intimacy. So maybe there was some intimacy here, but somebody started seeing red flags in this connection. I don't know what they were. Past life. This is a past life connection, Pisces. You guys were meant to come together and whatever's going on, I think it was meant to trigger both of you to maybe learn some lessons or something. So, Spirit, tell me these guys are not talking. So, if they could say something to each other, what would that be? Uh, like, I mean, even if you guys are talking, you're not talking about the topic, right? So, if you guys could discuss it, what would you say to each other? Spirit, Pisces and that person. Pisces and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Pisces and their person. All right, let's take a few more from another deck, Pisces. Pisces and their person spirit. At least one of you here really wants a second chance here. The other person could be saying, you know what, might as well move on. Pisces and their person. All right. Just a few more from a third deck as well, Pisces. And then we'll start the reading. Pisces and their person spirit. Pisces and their person. All right. Good to go. Let's start the reading, Pisces. And uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, Pisces, my email is omkarataru at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, You're all I ever need. You complete me. I'm so sorry for the way I treated you before. I'm ashamed of it. I wish I could take back all those hurtful things I said to you. Soon I plan on returning, hoping it can work this time. 
I believe we are meant to be together for every single lifetime. My decision was wrong. I'm feeling the consequences of my actions. Do you still love me? Do you still want to be with me? Me, my body, my mind and my soul is addicted to you. I want to take this relationship to the next level. Are you ready for that? I forgive you. I need you to need me like I need you. Just say something to me. I want to prove my love to you through actions. Your presence in my life has turned my world upside down. I've come to realize that I'm not more awakened than you. You're awake too. You may not be perfect, but you're perfect for me. All right. So these were some of your messages. <coughs> Sorry, Pisces. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start the reading. But first, I'm going to take an angel blessing card for the viewer. Now, Pisces, you could be watching. Maybe your cross watchers here watching for Pisces energy. So this this blessing, guidance, advice, or message. My intention is for the viewer of this video. You're a leader. You're an inspiration to a lot of people, um, Pisces, or the viewer, whoever you are watching. Uh, keep taking action, bold action in your life. Don't have to stop for nothing. Uh, be on your path and let the universe do the rest. It's like do your best, God will do the rest. Okay, so take the lead. I don't know whether you're this side or that side. Maybe you need to step up and, you know, tell your person something or you need to move on in your own life. Please take it as it resonates with you. You're a leader and you are inspiring not just your person but a lot of others around you as well. You are seen as somebody who's strong and, you know, an inspiration. All right. So, Spirit, tell me what's happening in this connection now. I'm going to start with person A's energy and Pisces, please remember these are not gender based. I don't know which side you're on. If this is your reading, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on, who this person is for you. And yes, it could be a love interest, spouse, ex, secret crush, could even be a business partner or relative or best friend or something so use your judgment on that okay so I uh, right now I'm going to focus only on one side which is person A for me once I'm done here later we'll move to the other side all right so person A let's start with you my focus is on you right now so why is your star in reverse star in reverse One more. Uh, this is, I think, this is, this is the person who didn't get the offer. They're feeling the lack of hope now. I think they have been by themselves. They've been wishing, praying, uh, keeping themselves secluded, hoping that their, their, their person will, you know, sooner or later send them a message and clear the air with them or say something, talk to them. Uh, I think they've been wishing, hoping, praying that, you know, if I keep myself uh, wait in my waiting mode, maybe sooner or later, sooner or later, we can work things out. They'll come and send me a message. They'll tell me they want to work with me and we can have a reunion. There can be, you know, a revival of this connection. But I don't think that's happened. And person A is kind of losing hope and they're feeling a little, uh, you know, uncared for, feeling not valued by their person. They feel that person is uh, still kind of not opening up emotionally or just being arrogant or rude or it's always going to be their way and, you know, she's not, it's just being very egoistic and prideful basically. Why do you feel this way, person A? Uh, person A says because uh, things are still in troubled waters, things are going backwards instead of going forward, uh, Omkara Taro. I did love them so much. 
I, I did I did love them a lot and uh, they are not doing anything to push this uh, connection into a place where we can start moving forward or end the fight with me so you know what I'm also getting a little fed up now um, instead of waiting for them to come forward and you know take action I'm pulling back my love now I'm going to pull back my love I'm going to keep it for myself yes I did have a lot of love for them but right now put a lid on that cup of love of mine and I'm thinking maybe it's time for me to focus on myself or move forward uh, tell me chariot chariot because they feel that person maybe doesn't even love them or is just playing you know emotional games with them or emotionally manipulating them or playing hot and cold with me all the time yeah i think person a is kind of from being, being the queen of cups they're embodying the queen of swords energy now and saying you know enough is enough enough is enough of this uh, competition and fighting and you know wanting me to compete for your attention uh, i'm not going to deal with all that i'm going to put my boundaries up now and uh, protect my own energy i've given enough of my time energy effort and you're refusing to change so personally how do you see the connection now how do you see about person b now and how do you feel about this connection the sun what's the sun card I think person A, heart of hearts always saw person B as their complete happiness. They did. It's like, this could have been, this could have been a happy, such a happy union, Omkara Taro. We could have been happy together. I wanted a ten of cups with them. I wanted, I wanted everything with them. But they, they, they just refused to change. They're just so immature. They're so arrogant they uh, they they come in for a short time but not a long time they behave like a player and here i know that this was supposed to be my soulmate i did feel a very very strong connection but things have been stuck for so long that that i have no choice i have no choice how long am i going to wait around and you know keep looking at the past and feeling why didn't they why didn't they i think it's time i i valued myself i stopped waiting for this person uh, turned turned away from the past and started moving towards a brand new future yeah i think i need to cut away you know feeling like an option in somebody's life i know my value i know my worth i know i can still turn heads wherever i go and i'm just keeping my own self trapped I, I am I'm doing this to myself whereas I can all I have free will as well I can always do right for myself and you know be in my self-love or move on towards new love find somebody better who will actually be there for me for the long haul so person is trying to uh, trying to be I guess do right for themselves Ju uh, justice what's the justice card yep by moving forward they're trying to do right for themselves by saying, you know, I'm going to get onto my own chariot. I'm, I'm going to heal myself and make my own dreams and wishes come true. So person A is healing. They are healing by saying, okay, I'm done here. I have to now give all that good to myself. So, which is, I guess, wise. We have a human life. We can't waste it, waste all of it, right? Before we know it, it's too late to actually live. A fulfilling life waiting for somebody else to change their ways so person b let's focus on you then let's see how you're feeling uh, this is person a's uh, action card uh, pisces which of course i'll open later i'll do both the action cards together right now i'm going to go and check on person b's energy see how they are feeling and then we'll do the action cards together all right so person b uh, in your feelings, in your emotions, you have the full card. What's the full card? Are you feeling like one or? Ah, too many cards. Okay, so tell me, are you feeling like a fool or are you gathering up your courage? Nah, they are gathering up their courage. I think this person is gathering up their courage. They want a brand new beginning. They want to take that leap of faith. They also know this connection is a soulmate bond. They, they know. It's like one of the cards said. I, I'm, you're not more awakened than me, you're awake too. I think both of you recognize that this is a soulmate bond. I think all they need is a little bit of courage to take that leap of faith because they do want to work on this connection. They want to re have a reunion. This person is praying for a second chance here. Tell me about the judgment. Judge, yeah, they, they know the truth. 
this person knows the truth about or they want to break the silence this person is ready they're ready to they see themselves as person is true partner for life and they have made up their mind okay so why do you feel this way suddenly person a tells me you're not you were very arrogant you never opened up and what's making you change now person b okay so four of swords they've been thinking and pondering over this ah they know that they if they don't come back quickly now with an offer which is big enough they may lose their person to another new love or something it's like now or never if i don't come in and offer them commitment i'm going to lose them to a new love i think they are very very stressed out very stressed out possibly because i think person a is really shining bright person a told me yeah, i'm the queen of wands and i'm really looking good feeling good smelling good attracting attention they are very worried the person b is very worried about that that oh my god somebody as hot as that will not be single for too long they're going to find somebody new especially now uh because i think person a is not really sharing too much information so they could be wondering whether there is another option or another offer from somebody else they are not happy about that they're not happy that person a has healed their broken heart over them is not bothered about them is probably keeping now secrets from them sees them as just a player to be left behind i think this person has is going through a huge shock now they're going through a tower they're feeling devastated now that they think about whatever has happened here this person is seeing things from all different perspectives now they see yeah you know what i treated my person like they were just an option in my life no wonder they pushing me away now they are holding back from me now because of the way i treated them i guess i deserve that this is justice so i think this person is i think seeing things putting their, themselves in person a's shoes and they're realizing that of course not only have i behaved badly but uh, treated them like an option but now i look at them and they i see how they see me which is not a very nice person somebody who's a player somebody who's uh, you know not committing somebody who's you know got many many options maybe and now the fear is that person a is healed of me now they don't see me in a good light they say they feel i'm just i'm just a player <laughs> okay so that's not really making person b happy at all so now tell me person uh, b what do you propose i mean i'll okay, action i'll ask you later first tell me how do you see person a now how do you feel about this connection uh nine of swords a uh, lot of stress lot of anxiety lot of worry uh because they feel that the other person has given up on them doesn't doesn't even want to have them as their partner for life anymore maybe just sees them as a friend just a friend right just a friend so i think that that's making the other person person b now want to come back even more i think now they are spying they are watching now they are feeling i'm not getting any attention uh, i'm i'm missing person a uh, i should have given that offer when i had an opportunity i should have taken action uh, but now if i do take action will they even accept five of swords what's the five of swords this person is angry at the moment oh shit I'm sorry. The minute I said that, I got the devil out. Yes, this person is is very, very upset, very angry. They are feeling imbalanced. They feel that the that person A is now now you know the victor. I mean, they were the ones playing mind games, and now they feel person A is the one who's kind of bigger and better, and you know, very happy without them in their life, and uh, it's making them feel small. I don't know. It's almost like what they were doing to person A. They feel person A is kind of doing to them. Yeah, and they, that's devastating them. They feel it's over. They feel person A has turned their back towards them. It's actually teaching person B a lesson. 
it is making them also kind of learn that they need to grow up maybe take responsibility do right i think i think they do want to talk this person does want to talk they may come forward with some communication because they have learned a lesson this person has grown this this tower has actually shaken them up big time they want to they kind of almost like saying hey can we start from scratch you are my happiness you are the one who makes my dreams and wishes come true so let's see if they do let's take let's see their action cards now um pisces let's start with person a okay person a action from your end towards person b or otherwise in your own life person a and um, pisces may i also request you remind you if you could just tap the like button for me please helps the videos to circulate i've been told but basically keeps me excited to know how many of you i connect with and uh, keeps me motivated to do more pisces readings for you as well and newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free for you to do so uh, we welcome you in all right person a action queen of swords i told you person has got their guard up it's like yeah i'm yeah, i'm done being the queen of cups and you know over giving and over loving and feeling like a fool for not getting reciprocated getting depleted all the time i am now using my head over my heart of gara tarot and i've got strong boundaries i'm looking out for the red flags okay queen of swords how is that your action say something devil yeah they feel they feel angry at the other person they feel that this person was uh, maybe just being a karmic so they need to move on towards maybe a, a they are manifesting they are manif i mean there was love here i person a truly truly did love person b but now they're feeling you know what i'm now connected to my higher self i'm now manifesting moving forward maybe taking back up control of my own life or maybe meeting somebody who i truly truly deserve I think person A has been through some sadness with person B. It's like you know what, nothing really happened here. I was always made to feel left out or sad or abandoned. They're just going with the flow of energy and saying, you know what, I'll let the universe decide. If they come back towards me with an offer, I'll see. if they've come, if they have matured like omkara taro saying they have now taken you know they are better and they have uh, you know grown up or whatever ah, i'm not going to trust you omkara taro i'm going to use my own wisdom i'm going to watch them i'm going to understand where they're coming from then i'll make my own choices otherwise till then i'm so busy here i'm so busy here making myself happy I'm I'm going to make my own dreams and wishes come true here. I'm not waiting around, but if you say they've grown up, okay, I will watch them and I will see and I will test them. <laughs> All right. So person B tell me, you tell me, will you well, take any action towards person A or otherwise? Person B's action towards person A or otherwise, spirit. two of swords what's the two of swords are you feeling blocked you think what is this tell me two of swords oh three of swords now guess whose heart is breaking now oh 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 they feel okay they feel person is become so strong they are shining so bright uh, what if now they have somebody else and i'm an option in their life and they push me away I think this person is literally crying right now feeling heartbroken Give me more what does that mean you won't even try in out of fear Five of wands yeah they they feel person A has got a lot of competition around them they feel they've lost their spot somehow There are too many people too many too much competition now for them and uh, some way they are dreading that uh, yeah they are dreading facing this queen of swords they know person is the queen of swords and they are scared of coming face to face so you know what they're doing they are just manifesting they're manifesting from behind the scenes 
they're going through a tower i can't blame them because right now they are very scared they are stuck they are going through a tower they they right now have actually come to the realization of the gravity of their mistakes this person is getting enlightened to what happened what they did how they made the other person feel and uh, right now they need to sit and think about all that bad stuff how they abandoned person a how they made them feel left out in the cold because now that's exactly how they are feeling but there's that doesn't stop them from still wishing manifesting hoping for person a so at least for now i feel they are going through a very going through a tower and a lesson about how it feels to make somebody feel like that because now they are feeling like that they are the ones maybe who made person a feel in the past that oh you're just an option and you know i'm too good for you now they feel the ball is in the other court all right so that's what i have for you till next time then pisces love and light take care namaste